Welcome to Introduction of Process Piping Code ASME B31.3 course This is Ali Akbar Nuri And I hope you are doing well You know, at the first step of project includes pressure piping The governing code will be specified by owner And then this code plays the major role for establishing rules of design and construction of that project so what does the code provide us to handle the project from A to Z to answer this question we should talk about the philosophy behind ASME code and review the history which has been led to division of ASME B31 and then we will focus on ASME B31.3 In this course, it will be discussed why we trust in code requirements instead of considering all safety factors. Actually, the code specifies engineering requirements considered necessary for safe design and construction of pressure piping system. In this course, I am gonna explain how safety factors implemented in codes and how different codes use different methods for considering adequate safety for all project due to its scope of work. The safety and reliability of each project vary from another. You can imagine that the pipeline which transfer natural gas shall be protected more than crude oil pipeline because any failure in gas pipeline may lead to explosion and many casualties while it may cause local burning in crude oil pipeline. Therefore, the safety and reliability of gas pipeline designed and constructed based on ASME B31.8 is more than crude oil pipeline which has been designed and constructed based on ASME B31.4. The objective of this course is to illustrate that how safety factors implemented in divisions of ASME B31 that makes one of them more reliable and safer than another based on a scope of project. Code specifies pressure design of piping components and this course covers wall thickness calculation of a straight pipe a step by a step furthermore you will be familiar with other methods used for wall thickness calculation of a straight pipe based on ASME B31.1 B31.8 B31.4 and through this comparison it will be revealed that how different safety factors used by different codes that makes one of them safer and more reliable than another. You must probably are familiar with the concept of rating or class of pipeline such as 150 pounds, 300 pounds, 600 pounds, 900 pounds, 1500 pounds and 2500 pounds. But does everyone know what that refers to? 
How much do you know about the concept of flange ratings or class? In ASME B31.3 course, we will show you how to determine the class or rating of flange based on a standard ASME B16.5 step by step and you will find what level of pressure will be sustained by a specific rating of flange at each temperature. Based on definitions presented by ASME B31.3, each component has its own design pressure and design temperature, which has been led to higher wall thickness or higher class or rating. Considering this definition, the design pressure and design temperature of each component, each piping component may different from and other piping components and this concept will be discussed in this course. There is a clear boundary between code and a standard. However, you may have seen some who say incorrectly a standard is MEB31.3 instead of code B31.3. In this course, you will learn how to use code and standard and specify related standard of each component based on ASME B31.3 code. In addition to code and standard, we use another type of document in our project named a specification. For example, we use PMS or piping material specification in our project, a specification for paint, a specification for pressure test, a specification for post weld heat treatment, and so on. Those specifications specialize for our project due to specific site conditions such as ambient temperature, wind velocity, the humidity and so on. But the principle shall be in accordance with code You will acquire ability to use PMS, piping material specification, in order to handle piping work from design to construction and commissioning phases. Code is not design handbook and during this course I help you to enhance your ability to use code correctly. Code may be challenging to understand and apply. And this course is intended to help you to understand the basis and the philosophy of code rules. <laughs>